Media Studies Department here at Dominican University is intended for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Tip out. Penguins occupying the northern end of the Conlon Center and Freeoff gets the tip. Sedano between the circles. Just underway. Freeoff down low. Spin jumper backboard. No. Rebound taken by Rachel Berry, the five foot four sophomore out of Clovis. Sunbirds work it to the other end, looking for their first win of the season in conference. A very young conference. The Penguins 1 0 after a monumental victory against Academy of Art. Now back home for their first conference home game. Soft jumper, Barry. Top of the key, left. Rebound, Airy. Hatfield brings it across the timeline. Right side, pulls up with a jumper deep. Anissa Rio with a rebound. Back and forth, both teams. Barry brings it up herself. Softly, close range. Six-footer, good. Barry scores first. The Penguins on quick transition to the other end. Left side, free off, runs it in. 2-2. Two, two. Early. Fresno to the other end. Two on two. Now everybody makes it in. Ariana Hatfield sticks the right arm in and saves it. Throws it the length of the court to Freeoff, who has it blocked out of her fingertips by Mason Ricks. No whistle. Now a drive by Barry and a charge is called. No. A block is called against Elias San Juan. San Juan, the freshman sensation. She has just been terrific this year. To a great early part of the season as the Penguins make their way into conference play. San Juan will be a huge part of it. Felicia Durva from the right wing. Missed it deep and the Penguins with another good rebound. 8-12 to go. Scores 2-2. Hatfield. Free throw line, drifter, good. Just off of the back of the back iron. It's a beautiful kick for the Penguins. Barry brings it back the other way after the Penguins go ahead by a pair. Three ball left wing by Rio. And it's 5-4 Sunbirds. 7.47, the clock rolls. Sedano brings it up. Free off left side. Hits the side of the backboard. Rebound, Ricks. Ricks just reached over the top of Freeoff. And at six foot one, that's not easy to do. Off ball. A trip committed against San Juan by Mason Ricks. She picks up her first. And a stop and play momentarily. Charlton comes out. Abriana Lake. Enters the game for her first minutes tonight. Seven and a half to go, everybody. 5 4, first quarter. Sedano down low, drives baseline, backs in as hard as she can against Barry. But Barry ends up blocking it and stealing the ball away. Another soft three from the left wing by Vanessa Cochran. Cochran. Miss it a little short. Sedano takes it the other side, hits the side of the backboard. That's two on the side of the backboard by the DUs. But Sedano tried to go after it and it went out off the end line. 6.58 to go. 5 4. Sunbirds lead it. Right side, Barry. Oh, she's doing it all. Barry now distributes. Top of the key. Left side, Cochran. Penguins on D, and a, oh man, what a drifting hook shot by Vanessa Cochran. But it didn't go in the Penguins with a great rebound. Down low, distribution. Got it back to Riley Freeoff after a, bu- a brilliant pass from Aubriana Lake. So it's Sedano Lake, and they found Freeoff in the post, and she's able to lay it up from the left side. Mia, as you and I have discussed many times on the air, free off from the left side is absolute magic. Long three by Lundqvist is missed short. And Ariana Hatfield takes it the distance, lays it in from the left side. The Penguins by three. Inside of six minutes, first quarter. Double header today, everybody. 
Men scheduled to go up four. Barry's got it. Takes it up and under. Wow. She took it baseline from the right side all the way to the left side of the post and spun it off the window with English and got it to go. Free off. Side. Oh, man. Free off fighting for it. Steps under into the restricted area. Gets it right under the outstretched arms of Megan Sherritt. And is able to score another bucket. And now she's at six. Check it. She's at four. Wow. Penguins are looking good. Hatfield has six. Five minutes to go. And the Penguins are on offense. San Juan on the left wing to Sedano. Free off. Soft jumper. Left wing. No. 14 footer. Just long. Barry right side. Barry against San Juan. And she's able to soft it in from the right side. Inbounds from Hatfield to San Juan. And it ultimately went out off of Elia. 4.33 to go. Fresno's got it right under their bucket. Inbounds Durva. She's able to fight it into Mason Ricks. Dorva right side, foot fake, baseline, backing in against Brittany Sedeno. Spin jumper from close range. And Dorva closed the door on that beautiful two-pointer. 11-10, Penguins trail. Down low, free off, falling backward. Gets it to go. She was about three feet in from the right elbow and fell backward and released the ball just... So perfectly. Jolene Corona has entered the game for the Sunbirds. Penguins on defense. Driving in left side and hitting the bottom of the backboard. Mason Ricks. Penguins with the rebound. All alone to the other end. Shot on goal by Alessandra Solis. Doesn't go. Solis, her first minutes. Maybe a little too pumped on that play. Solis had a clean look from the left side. A shot she makes 100 out of 100 times in practice. Jumper right elbow by Dorva. Doesn't go. Tipped out of bounds with a foul. Freyoff picks up her first foul with a push on the play as everybody was scrambling after the ball. Inside of three and a half, everybody. Fresno Pacific with the ball. Anissa Rio will bring it in. She does to Dorva, the 5'7 junior. Dorva way out on the left side. Dorva mismatched against Lake, who's towering over Lake. Oh, and the shot from about two feet straight away behind the free throw line kicks left and goes out of play. Two Penguins went after it. No Sunbirds in the area, but the Penguins couldn't hold on to it, and it goes out of play. Back into the hands of the Sunbirds. Rio at the top of the key. Now she... Drifts left, picks up a screen, fires a long deuce, short. Ariana Hatfield with the rebound. Solis brings it up. Free off. Back to Lake. Drives right side all alone. She's fouled, and it goes. Count the basket. Foul committed by Anissa Rio. And now we'll put Lake on the line. For the three point play. These are the first conference free throws of the season. Lake toes the line, a wide open stance off to our left, and it is perfect. One for one. Lake is batting a 1,000 from the free throw line, Mia. I'm happy to report. 15-11. Penguins lead this one with 2.47 to go in the first quarter. Women play quarters, men play halves. Don't ask me why. God, there must be a very logical reason. But I'm not sure why. Shot by Rio doesn't go. The Penguins come down with it. Lake's got it. Back out to Sedania, who's been very quiet tonight. She drifts in, stutter steps, circus move, Sedano for two. 
Oh, man. Now that's Sedano for you. She's one of those players who's very quiet, but when she says something, it matters. And she just did, and it did. Oh, and Sedano almost gets off with a clean steal against Rachel Berry. But the foul is actually committed by Aubriana Lake. So Lake picks up her first. Lake with one, free off with one. And preparing to enter the game are Jasmine Barnes and Cameron Figueroa. Lake to the bench. And Ariana Hatfield will take a breather. Two five to go. Jolene Corona on the line. She's at 70%, and that just went up a little bit as the first one's good. The second one is also... And for reference fans, if you're high 70s from the free throw line, that's a very good number. Figgy brings it in. Penguins have trouble getting it out of the backcourt, but ultimately do. Solis to free off. Free off down low. 180 spin jumper back iron. No. Rebound Barry. Brings it up. Goes between the legs across the timeline. And heaves it into the Penguin bench. Pass intended for Megan Sherritt. But Barry heaved it over her head. Sedano. Right side. Cameron Figueroa. Siggy buries the deuce off the right window. 19-13. Penguins, 90 seconds to go. In the first quarter, Barry's got it out on the left wing. Barry's got Solis. 12 on the shot clock. 113 to go. Barry. Oh, has it stripped away? Sedano with a great get. One on one. Brittany Window missed it short. Free off with a put back and a foul. This will put free off on the line. 19 13 with 103 to go. Foul committed by Lydia Manu, the five foot nine freshman out of San Mateo. Conference free throw percentage. For the Penguins, Riley free off 75%. I don't know what you're saying to me. What does that mean? She's three for four. Oh, she's three for four. Thank you very Oh, now I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now she's three for five since she missed the first one. And she adjusts ever so slightly and cans the second free throw. The Penguins are up by a touchdown with 103 to go in the first quarter. Inbounds and Dorva brings it up. Oh, and the Penguins' defense is too much. Jasmine Barnes and Alessandra Solis forced the issue. And the ball almost hit Mia. Luckily, though, we're protected by the padding on the front of media row. Inside of a minute, everybody. Well inside of it. 45 seconds to go. Dorva. Left wing three ball. Dorva missed it short. Figgy with a hard-fought rebound. She'll take it out herself. Clear things. 37 seconds. Right side, Solis. Stutter step. Now backs it up. 21 on the shot clock. 31 overhead. And the Penguin foul is called on Solis with an off-ball push. 2013, 31 seconds to go in the first quarter. Inbounds, Sunbirds. Penguins with full court pressure inside of 30 seconds in the first quarter, everybody. Jasmine Barnes up against Rio. Back by the timeline. Rio has nowhere to go. The Penguins' defense, they got everybody covered. Rio, 
Shot clock is off. Has 11 seconds. Right side against Barnes. High dribbling. Goes in. Up and under. Nothing. Loose ball. Ariana Howe with the infield with the rebound. Three seconds. Ari takes it herself on the way. Buzzer. You're listening to Penny Radio Live here at Dominican University of California, live in the Conwin Center. You can listen worldwide at radio.dominican.edu or FM at 102.5. Be that her shoulder's okay. And I'm also happy to see that Brittany Cedeno's back with the squad after the concussion scare of about a week ago. But she's back and playing well. And we're back underway. Second quarter action. Off to our right, the Sunbirds attacking that northern hoop. Shot on goal by Rio. Is deep taken down by Freon. Cedeno to Figs, left side. Figueroa, the senior, drives in, has a clean look off the window. And Figgy for two! Penguins by nine with 9.29 to go. 22-13. And a foul on the inbound is committed by... Alessandra Solis. So, Solis with her second of the half. On the inbounds, playing hard, Solis. Oh, that's for sure. She's been a great get for Tim Lucas. Right side, Dorva. 21 footer, Dorva. Nothing but swish, Dorva. Solis way out on the right side. Drives. Free off. Three ball. Good look by Cedeno. And it just looped out. The old horseshoe meal. Right back at her, but the Penguins can't get the rebound. Rio brings it up. Stutter step by Bree Hurt. She was able to get it off to Dorva, who fired another long three. Missed it, but the Penguins couldn't pull the ball down. Right side, Barry, high dribbling, into the paint. Hurt, right side. Figgy comes down with it. Oh, Figgy flies out of bounds, and a, the first jump ball of the game is called between Solis. Man, I didn't catch. Oh, there it is. Rio with the. Got her hands. So there were four hands on the ball at one time, and the whistle's blew. 8.35 to go, everybody. The Penguins lead this one 22-16 in the second quarter. Inbounds to Figueroa from Cedeno, who will bring it across the middle of the insignia here at the Conlon Center. 8.25 in the clock rolls. Right side, Solis. Bodying in uh, against Rachel Berry. And Solis is able to bury it. Inbounds, and Cedeno going after it hard. The ball ends up in the Sunbird bench. And the FPUs maintain control. Inbounds to Rachel Berry, the five foot four sophomore out of Clovis, who is clearly the captain as she runs one in from the right side. Inside of eight minutes and a half, everybody, Solis. Brings it up as Lake prepares to re-enter. Jasmine Barnes right side. Intended for Figaro, and it ends up in the fifth row of the grandstand. Just heaved it right over the head of old Figgy there. And Figaro couldn't even think about getting to it. It was way over her head. Fresno Pacific ball. Oh, tipped away by Lake with a brilliant save. Figueroa's got it. Two on one. Loose ball. Lake in the corner. Figgy fakes the three. Drives in. Window. No. Can she get her own rebound? She falls on it. Jump ball. Two jump balls, me and Figs has been a part of both of them. She's been playing really hard. She's putting her whole body into it. Figgy is one of those players who each year, I've watched her whole career, her whole collegiate career, I should say, every game. And she has gotten better and better, and she is a real force to be reckoned with. She can shoot the three, but she's not afraid to body down low. Penguins now on defense. Three ball, deep three from Anissa Rio, and that falls 24-21. Penguins led by as many as nine, and now it's three. Figgy 
Left-handed dribbling, drives in, hands it off to Lake. A, man, Lake is just powering her way over the top of Barry and gets it to fall off the window. 6.45 to go Dorva against Sedano. Sedano's looking right into Dorva's eyes. And now she's forcing the issue. Kick out Charlton's back in there. Off the bottom of the backboard goes Lundqvist. The Penguins can't get the rebound. Charlton comes down with it after the second missed shot. This time, Lundqvist shoots again. Free off. Gets it to fall from the left side, Mia. And draws a whistle. Are you kidding? That's free off for you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't believe what I just saw. Freeoff was getting absolutely pounded in the post and was somehow able to throw a line drive off the window and get it to fall. And now for the three-point conversion, and she does. 29-21. 6-17 to go in the first half of our first game of the doubleheader today. 6-17 to go. And now Freeoff's at 10 points. Penguins on D, off to our right. Rio. Watch it down low to Manu. And a whistle. But I can't see around Tim Lacoste. <laughs> <laughs> he's just had it right in front of me. Inbounds. Oh, and a soft shot on goal from Manu. After the short inbounds, right under the bucket. Free off, goes after the rebounds, it goes out off the end line. Barry to bring it in, and she does. Mason Ricks, left side against free off, and she she just showed free off what it feels like. Because that's free off shot off that left post. Top of the key to the left corner. Charlton hits the top of the backboard. The Penguins with a rebound, the loose ball ends up in the hands of Ariana Hatfield, who follows up with a Mid-range jumper from the left side. Can't get it. Back to Barry. Who runs it in herself. She takes it the distance. And from the left elbow, it falls. 5.25 to go. Lake right side. Backs up. Stutter step. Kick out. Free off. Softly right elbow. No. Barry again. Oh, Barry. I don't know how many rebounds Barry has on this season. But she's racked up a ton of them tonight. We'll check that stat sheet. Well, at, at the end of the first quarter, she had four in the first quarter. She's got to have... She had 13 going into this game. 13, that's right, coming with one game. So she's on pace to double that tonight, at least. 29-25, everybody. The Penguins get the ball back inside of five minutes. Cedeno, Lake thinks corner three, no. Kick out Hatfield, 23-footer deep. Uh-oh, uh-oh, and a player hit the floor, and I can't see who that is. It looked like two Fresno players collided with each other, and one of them hit the ground kind of hard. Yeah. I Okay, welcome back, everybody. 4.42 to go. The Penguins by four. Up and in by Figgy on the <laughs> short inbounds. Figueroa is able to get it to fall as she fell backward. And a foul is committed by Manu. So that's a third on Manu. As she was driving the lane and then thought better of it. And in the meantime, slammed into a penguin who had come set. 4.24 to go now. Then we're back on the way. The Penguins have the ball right side. Figaro out on the wing. She drives in. Figgy. Figgy has it ripped out of her fingertips by Jolene Corona, five foot three freshman at La, La Habra Heights. Went to Whittier Christian High. Inbounds, free off! The Penguins work it. Again, two short plays, Mia, and the Penguins make the most of it. Dorva 
Drives it to the right side. Corona with some fancy footwork kicks it out left side to Rio. Hatfield with some big defense against Jenna Coors, the six foot. A six footer out of Oakhurst with her first minutes tonight. And a whistle as Jolene Corona heaves up a shot over the top of Freeoff. And San Juan picks up her second personal. And man, it's kind of one of those fouls that seemed unnecessary. She was not going to get the ball anywhere near the basket over Freeoff. First free throw is good. On the season. Does she have? She, so these are her first conference free throws, and she makes them both. Penguins bring it in. San Juan, and the Penguins throw it away. So Fresno gets a gift. Well, it's a holiday season. Three thirty-six to go. Penguins on D as Rio brings it across the timeline against Cedeno. Right side Rio. Loose ball. Too much window. Put back is deep and there's another loose ball and a whistle. And it's going to go against the Penguins. And the foul is called against Riley Freeoff. That's her second. And with 3.20 to go in the first half, Rio, uh, I mean, uh, Riley, not Re, Re, Rio, is on the other team. Riley, free off. We're going to have to keep her on foul watch. One thing the, the Penguins cannot afford to lose is free off against a tough group of Sunbirds. In fact, this five on the floor right now is almost utterly indispensable. As Figgy just flails an arm in to break up the play. And now a loose ball into the hands of Barry. He throws it up. Nothing. Free off. Ends up with it. And a foul now committed by Barry. Nope. Foul is committed by Bray Hurt. Bray Hurt. Yep. Yeah. Bray put Hurt on free off and she'll go to the line. 33-27. That's where you turn to me and say, that's a good one, Stu. 255 to go. Usually you do. <laughs> Usually you encourage me. <laughs> right side, free off, in and out. Free off has missed two tonight from the line that I can recall. But she doesn't miss this one. Just absolutely perfect. 34 27 inside of three minutes and a half. Barry with a spin jumper and Riley with a perfectly positioned rebound to Sedano, who fakes the screen from Freop. Drifts left, now back out to Figgy on the right wing, fires a 25 foot three. Oh man, that was close. And the rebound by Barry. Who else? Barry heaves at the length of the court. To Cochran, who missed it very, in a in an awkward way, but the Penguins with the rebound, a hook toss down low from Brittany Cedeno to Freon, who missed the shorty, and the foul is committed by Hatfield. That's the first on Ariana. And who's got 21? With 2.12 to go. 34-27. Yeah, yeah. Figs comes back for a word with the coach. And now, and a foul on Figgy coming across the timeline. Jenna Kurz brought it across. Figs got her way through the hands up. Kurz slammed into her and they called it on Figgy. His feet were moving 2.05. Kurz on the line, the six-footer out of Oakhurst. On the way. Missed it short. Kicked it right. No bucket. Well, one for two from the shooter. 
who turns out to be Julie Ramirez, a five foot seven a guard out of Brentwood. 34-28. Inside of two minutes. Right side Hatfield. Hatfield gets it down low to free off. Who was able to get the shot off right over the top of the bucket. Barry kicks it into the corner to Cochran. And now a loose ball taken down by Brittany Cedeno after the near miss by Bree Hurt. Cedeno to free off, right side Hatfield. Back to free off on the right elbow. Oh, and a travel is committed by Alex Solis. Solis got a perfect little handoff and a pretty clean look, but just slid the pivot foot and Dervis hurt. Derva, Derva is uh, really hurting. Oh man, she's bent over and wincing in a big way. Nope. I guess she's all right. She's going to come back into the game. Not sure if she had a cramp or what happened. Penguins on defense. Long three by Cochran. Rattles out. One minute to go. Penguins with a rebound. Figgy's got it on the left wing. A give and a screen. As Hatfield works it to free off down low. And the foul is committed by... Jolene Corona. No, 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 no. That was not on Corona. That was on Sherrett. That's right. Okay. I knew I knew what I saw. I knew I saw what I saw. And I saw what I knew that I saw. And now I know that Freeoff is on the line. And I just saw the ball go through the bucket. Or into the bucket. I guess it went through the bucket. 35-28. 51 seconds to go. And both of the freebies are good for free off. Exiting the floor are Figgy and Solis. So free off Cedeno, Charlton, Hatfield, and Lake in for Coach Lacos. Dorva has come into the game, re-entered the game, I should say, and brings the ball across the timeline. Hands it off to Barry with a layup left side. No. Rebound, Sherritt, who puts it back. 36-30, Penguins with the ball. 25 on the shot, 30 overhead. Cedeno to Lake, runner, softly, whistle. Lake will go to the line. Boy, that looked like she had received, because she did receive a pretty pass. Looked like a shot she would make. A very high percentage shot for Lake. She'll go to the line. A good crowd in the house considering the finals are over. I know my broadcast partner, the freshman broadcasting sensation, Nia Sirocco, is happy about that as Lake Cans the first. Finals go okay for you? Yep. Good. It's always my favorite time of the year, <laughs> especially when I was a student. Uh-oh, the second one loops out. And the rebound by Airy. 20 seconds overhead, 16 on the shot clock. Cedeno's got it out on the left wing. Cochran, all over. Now the Penguins want to get the last shot off. Hadfield between the circles to Cedeno, five. Driving in four. Cedeno to free off. One. Got it on the buzzer. Count the bucket. Free off. After the... The Penguins worked the ball down low, just absolutely mastered. There was a shot clock violation. There was literally 1.8 seconds between the shot clock and the overhead. And they waved the bucket off that Freeoff had scored, which seemed like she... Interesting that we had Dolly Parton's Jolene playing at halftime there, and we'll find out if Jolene Corona is going to play anymore for... The Sunbirds, I suspect she might. We're back underway, everybody. Second half action, 37-30, Penguins. Off to our right, follow away jumper, Jordan Charlton. 
Kicks is started from 11 feet, right baseline. Drifting, falling, focused, drops an impossible shot, as she often does. Foul committed by Brittany Cedeno. Thirty-nine thirty. Clean look, right side. Three ball by Lundqvist. Doesn't go, but a foul on the play is. Uh oh. Is committed. Well, they they called it against Freeoff. They called it on free off, but free off was nowhere near the play. I'm not sure. I don't know. They made an earlier mistake on the numbering. But that's the third now on Riley free off. The jumper by Dorva doesn't go, but the put back does go, thanks to Mason Ritz. Penguins by seven, 9.05 to go. Hatfield brings it up. Hatfield hands it off to San Juan. He's able to get it to free off and back, then back to Charlton. Charlton as she, oh, Charlton as she knocked down the deuce, then gets. And Tim Lacoe said something too. I thought she was saying it to Charlton. I'm not sure who he was talking to. And the shot from the right side by Dorva hits off the shot clock. That's how high it was. Penguins fight for it to the other end and free off. Scoops one in from the left post. Uh, 43-32, 824 to go. Barry to the right side. Dorva pulls up with a jumper. Bouncing around off the rim short. Whistles again. Cedeno, Hadfield, Charlton, San Juan, and Freeoff on the floor for Coach Lacos. Foul is committed by Anissa Rio, the 5'9 freshman out of Fairfield. That's her second. The Penguins get the ball, and the shot goes down. And Riley Freeoff again. Freeoff's at 19 points, fans. 45-32. Dominican has had some brilliant work from Riley Freeoff tonight. Brittany Cedeno, Jordan Charlton, up and under. And to call that shot a, a layup, Mia, it would be an understatement from Rio. It wasn't really much of a layup. It was more like a layup, a hook layup. And the foul is committed against Riley Freeoff. Foul is committed by Mason Ricks. Ricks, a 5'10 sophomore out of Albury, California. Transferred from Sacramento State. Freeoff on the line. Shooting... Two. Six for eight on the night, and she makes them both. Seven for nine. And Barry goes down and twists her left ankle. Or maybe it's her left knee, which she has the soft cast on. It looked like she was kind of like grabbing her like left hand, like her hand was in pain, like the ball hit her like. Oh, you're right. Like a weird way. Now, look, she's shaking that left hand. Barry stays in. Barry's tough. Not only the team leader, team rebounder, team scoring leader, but she's also very tough. And I think you got to be. Penguins after the ball goes out off the end line are attacking the northern hoop off to our right here on Media Row, here in the opulent broadcasting area. Right side, free off. Dumps it home over the top of Megan Sherratt. 49-34. Inside of seven minutes in the third. Penguin men coming up at four o'clock. Free off with a rebound. 
Hatfield looks across, takes it herself. The runner is short. Dorva fights for it. And she literally took a swing after she, she got the ball and just waved her arms around with such force. I'm glad I wasn't within the wash. And the foul is committed by Brittany Sedano off ball, Mia, again. And gosh, it seems like the Penguins are picking up a, a lot of fouls that. Uh, I don't know. I'm just not seeing them. I, I'm sure that's all it is. 6.25 to go. And there's an off ball foul committed by Lydia Manu. So there we go. That's the fourth on Manu. When she picked up her third, we knew we were going to have to keep a close eye on her. Julie Ramirez enters in place of Manu, who, once she got that fourth personal with tons of time to go, you figured she was going to get yanked. So Daniel launches a 22-footer. And a foul going after the ball is free off. Slams into Rachel Berry. And they call the foul on Freyoff. And Mia, I believe that's number four. That's number four. Both of them go after the ball as hard as they can. They slam into each other and they call it a foul against Freyoff. Well, Coach Lacos is going to have to leave her in there. I want to make sure that clock is running. Yeah, it is. Of course it is. 5.58 to go. Barry's got the ball now between the circles. Ramirez out on the wing and fighting for the ball. San Juan goes after it. Another jump ball. So two jump balls within 12 seconds. Looks like one thing. Well, Barry's got that left leg, and so you're right. She's limping, and her left hand, which took a beating in a previous sequence. 5.44, the clock rolls. Penguins get the ball on the jumper. Top of the key to Freeoff, who looks up and cannot get the finger roll to fall. It's taken down by Bree Hurt. San Juan forces the issue. And a travel committed after San Juan's defense was just too much for Jolene Corona. So San Juan got Jolene Corona to travel just because she can. 5.18 to go. Lake, stutter step against Dorba, pulls up and falls! And whistle! Foul committed by Dorva as Lake drives from the right side. 51-34. Barry re-enters. Dorva's going to take a break. Abriana Lake on the line. She's two for three on okay. the line. All right, and she misses, so now she is two for four for the evening. 5.06 to go. Cedeno and Lake fall on the ball. Stripping it away from Corona. Now top of the key, San Juan. Brittany, no look, down low, free off, in and out. Rachel Berry with another get. Right side. Oh, she backed into Lake, and I thought Abriana was going to sneak an arm in there and strip it away from her. Barry backs out. Corona out on the left wing. Now they move it back to the right side, Sherat. Oh, and Lake is just doing everything she can to swipe that ball away. And a foul is committed. No bucket. There's no foul is on Bree Hurt. Oh, check it. It's on Corona. The Penguin Radio live here at Dominican University of California. The 
The Penguins are leading the Sunbirds 51-34 right now. And here's Stu with the call. All right. Thank you very much, Mia. Back underway, everybody. Clock rolls 4-14 in the third. Cedeno pulls over the jumper on the left elbow. A little short. Off the glass. Fresno with the rebound. Spin jumper from close range by Julie Ramirez draws a whistle. Fabriana Lake picked up her second. Lake out of Elk Grove. And five foot seven has been such a good get for Coach Lacoste. I think I said that before, but I can't say it enough to tell you the truth is Julie Ramirez cans the first and the second rattles in. She is 4-4-4 four 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 on total free throws this season. She had made the two previous ones going into this game, so she remains at a perfect 1,000. All right. 1,000%, that's a lot. <laughs> Left wing San Juan, uh-oh. That was an air ball. San Juan, who's just been dynamite this season. But as she missed everything, Free Hurt picks up her third, fighting for the loose ball. So it could have been worse against Harry Hatfield. Hatfield in her second year with Coach Lacoste. misses the her first free throw of the season. Well, of the game, I should say. No, of the season. Oh, it is of the season. Okay. All right. So Hatfield goes over at the line. I'm sorry to report. Because she's such an integral part of this unit. So Daniel, with no looks, it back to free off, who pounds it off the glass. Rebound is hauled in by Bree Hurt, who takes it the distance. And they get it from Sherrett back over to Barry. And then Ari Hatfield swipes it away. Hatfield has it on the left elbow, drives in right side. Oh, what an athletic jumper from close range. And Hatfield couldn't get it to fall off the front iron. 51-36. Penguins on D. Ramirez hits the deck. And Bree Hurt scores the deuce. Right post, 51-38. Lacoste in the game. And the gang work it down to Freya, who's blocked. That's a major rejection by Megan Sherritt. Two and a half to go. Barry left side. Oh, I don't know how she didn't travel. Head fake. Ramirez right side. Hurt. Throws it right into the hands of Adriana Lake. Lake up over the top of the outstretched arms of Lydia Manu. And it's just called a block as Lake hits the deck. 2.15 to go. Back into the game. Figgy and Solis. Hadfield and San Juan are going to take a break. So Cameron Figueroa, who had such brilliant minutes in the first half. And now Lake will take a break and Jasmine Barnes will re-enter. Barnes, of course, a five foot six freshman out of Oakland. And just so highly acclaimed Barnes that she's able to live up to all the hype. She's just been great. You got players like Barnes, Mia, coming off the bench. You you've got depth. And that's a luxury the Penguins haven't had in many years. 156 to go. Softy from the right side by Jenna Coors. And the Penguins managed to get the loose ball. So Daniel Window, she's fouled by Coors on the way up. Foul is committed, as mentioned, by Jenna Coors. Coors. Is it Coors? One forty six to go. Cedeno on the line. And the first one is not close. 
Very deep. So Daniel shooting 57% on the season from the line. Now remember, there's just one conference game that Tim Lacoste and the ladies have played, but she missed them both. And a jumper right side by Kerr's goes. So the Penguins' lead is 11 with 125 to go in the third quarter. Right side Figgy. And she travels with it after the block by Mason Ricks. So Manu takes a break and Barry back in her place. Cochran and Dorva are also on the floor. And Riley Freeoff with the rebound. And then goes ahead and throws up a screen against Barry anyway. Penguins. Three ball by Alex Solis. Solis with a little energy the Penguins really needed. First three of the second half and we're inside of a minute in the third period. And just when Tim Lacoste needed the big tray ball, Solis delivers. And a foul now committed on the other end. Uh-oh. Ooh, I thought <laughs> it's against Figgy. That's her second, but for a second I thought the referee threw up 13, which of course would be free off. Who's sitting on four of them. And if the Penguins want to hold on and win this game is... Hadfield returns and Figgy to the bench. Uh, Tim Lacoste is going to need Riley Free off the distance if he can work it. Kurz knocks down her first free throw, 54-41. The second one bounces into the hands of Riley Free off. And those are the first free throws of the season for Kurz. 20 seconds to go on the shot clock 26 overhead Solis left wing three ball no Barry rebound Barry comes out dribbles it left handed across the timeline is able to squirt it out into the arms of Durva who throws it over to Ramirez and up into the fourth row of the grandstand and Barry's down again Barry took her time gain up She's been she's been down three or four times tonight, Barry, and it seems like every time she goes down, she goes down hard. And it's inbound. Nine seconds to go. Right side, Barnes. Spin jumper, Barnes! Left-handed window, 360, Barnes on the buzzer. Wow! <laughs> Barnes is able to get off another impossible shot. And after call it. coast to coast with Coach Lacoste. That's right. <laughs> Try to say that three times, everybody. <laughs> Clock rolls. One quarter to go. 56-41. Rachel Berry on the left wing. And Elias and one bats it away. She's able to steal it momentarily. But somehow the Sunbirds get it back. And a hook shot from Mason Ricks from the left post over the top of Riley Free up falls. Right side, Cedeno, low bounce pass, free off. Free off has it blocked and swiped by Ricks. And they call it a dual possession, also known as a jump ball. 9.31 to go. And the Penguins will get the ball on the short side, inbounds to free off. Free off, soft jumper. Limp wristed, good. O'Reilly converts the short deuce. And now she's at 25 points. Hatfield gets wrapped up with Barry. And everybody hits the deck. And another whistle. And I think it might it might be another jump ball. Nope. Foul is committed by Julie Ramirez. Five foot seven guard out of Brentwood. Uh, Brentwood. It looks like she's in pain after taking that tumble. Yeah, but Hatfield was the first to go down hard on the floor, hit that left knee. That was. Hey, 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 hey! 
That's where uh, it took the blunt of the impact that left knee for Ariana, but she's up and brings the ball into Barnes. Jasmine drives baseline against Dorva, and she just swiped it right out of the hands of Barnes. And then Barnes fouled her. So the foul is committed by Barnes and in the backcourt. The Fresnos will get it back. And they do. Now Barry has it in the backcourt, bringing it across right in the middle of the timeline. San Juan's against her. Free off, goes in, right pose. Shot on goal by Sarah Lundqvist is good. Barnes to Riley. Two on one. And free off bangs it home from the right side. 60-45, everybody, coming up on eight and a half. Right side, Dorva. Backs out. Barnes, too much pressure. Back and forth, Barry pulls up. Air ball. Maybe graze the rim, but not by much. Put back, no. Shot. By Mason Ricks, doesn't fall, and the Penguins in transition can't hold on to it. And one of the Penguins butterfingered it right out of here. Hey, Tom, you score. Take care of the score. Penguins by 15, Mia, with 8.14 to go. Moonquist brings it in. And gets it into Corona. Penguins on D. Left side, Rio. Down low, Rio. Rebound, free off. 7.52 to go. Hatfield's got it. After the great rebound by Riley Freya, who now has it after a good pass from Brittany Cedeno. Free off, 12-footer falls short. Instead, they kick it out right side to Corona, and it falls way short. Loose ball. Barnes has it. Cedeno got it. It's Barnes. Left side. San Juan launches the three. Hello! Laya! San Juan! Two gigantic threes for the Penguins in the second half. San Juan, Solis, big threes. Timeout. Department of Dominican University of California. Our producer tonight is Mia Sirocco. 7.06, the clock rolls. We're back underway. Double Penguin women up 63-45. And a foul under the bucket. And a push is called against one of the Fresnos. In fact, it's on Corona. My Corona. <laughs> right side, Jasmine Barnes, no bucket travel. Barnes spun 360. Penguins on defense as a result. 6.45 to go to clock rolls. Corona hands it off to Lundqvist. And now Rio drives in. Under Cedeno, over Freoff, and misses the short left-handed layup. And puts her hands over her eyes as if to say, I can't believe I missed that shot. And frankly, I think most of the Fresno fans feel the same way. The Rhea is so good from close range. 6.32 to go. 63.45. Cedeno softly to free off intended for Hatfield throws it away Manu takes it herself after the steal and it's a loose ball after the shot is missed and the Penguins with another brilliant rebound Barnes San Juan to Hatfield oh Hatfield throws it all the way back toward Mia but Cedeno is able to grab it and heave the three now 
Barry brings it up. Left side, Rio. Left handed, Rio. And that was, that was quite a play by Rio. <laughs> she spun it off the window. Total artistry. Left side and Freehoff's fouled. Down low where Freehoff loves to shoot. Fouls committed by Megan Sherratt. 5.28 to go, 63.47. So Riley back to the line. Seven for nine tonight, free off. Approaching that golden 80% mark that we like to see, as me and I discussed in the pregame. And guess what? Eight for ten sounds like uh, what we want her to be. And a little icing to move up to 82.5%. And she moves 9 for 11. Penguins with a rebound. Sedano after the missed shot down low by Manu. Uh-oh. And, oh, a dual possession. I thought, I thought Manu just picked up her fifth. Manu sitting on four. But Fresno needs her. Coach Beauregard. Short up and in, right under the bucket. The first one's missed, but the put back by Ricks goes. Coming up on five minutes, everybody. 65 49. Barnes to San Juan. She's got Manu in her face. Down low, free off. Free off's got nowhere to go with it. And now the Penguins want to reset with 15 on the shot. Three ball by San Juan is missed but somehow Barry is the one to butterfinger it out off the end line going after the rebound 4.49 left in the contest Hatfield has it inbounds to Riley free off in the far corner Cedeno softly Riley pulls up over the top of Manu I think Manu's hanging back off of free off. As Riley buries the deuce. Now Manu's got it. Under and it slips to Ricks. Rebound. Free off. 420 to go. San Juan. Cedeno launches three in and out. Just barely off the mark as Jasmine Barnes goes flying. Manu helps her up. You know, I would think, Mia, that the Penguins would love to see Manu stay on free off because Manu now with four fouls has got to be careful. I mean, same thing with free off. Both of them have four fouls. Yeah, that's a very good point. But when free off is shooting, Manu's going to hang back just a little bit because she doesn't want to pick up number five. Which you end her evening. Penguins now on defense, leading 67-49. Shot from the right side. Goes off by Bree Hurt. Missed it. Ball ends up back in her hands. And she's fouled by Hadfield on the play, on the putback. And Hurt will go to the line. And that does hurt. 67-51 if the... If the Fresnos want to stay in this thing, Hurt needs to make this. And shooting 50% on the season. Of course, it's just the second game of the season for both squads. But Hurt makes it. And it's a 15-point ball game. And we're inside of four minutes. And Hatfield no-looks it right side into the corner. Riley free off, more like Wiley free off. She backed up and knocked down an impossible two. <laughs> free, off. free off is amazing. From down low, there's just, I don't know, you can make an argument there's nobody better. And we haven't seen all the teams in the conference yet. So I hesitate to say that just because I'm a Penguin fan. Turn around, hurt. 
who just dropped a beautiful two ball. It, it was just close range with total finesse. It's a 69-54. But Freehoff's got so many different levels of expertise. Speaking of expertise, Sedano goes to Hatfield. Three ball short, Sedano put back. No, loose ball. Who's got it? Julie Ramirez pulls it up. Sedano chased after and almost got it back. But it went out of bounds off of the off of her toe. Hurt brings it in to Barry. Barry takes it the distance and softly from the free throw line. Keeps the Fresnos in it. 2.45 to go. Sedano is going to wave everybody off. Dorva is just sticking her arms in there trying to swipe it away. They get it to Freehoff who drives in. Now she has to back out. Defense was too rough. Rick stuck an arm in there, and this for the second time tonight. Rick's just swiped the ball away from the offensive player. Took it the other end. 227 left in this contest. And Julia Ramirez just tightened it up a little bit with a free throw. 69 50. Eight. And the clock rolls. Barnes has got it on the inbound. Hatfield. Oh, Hatfield dribbles it away. And it goes out of pl- out of bounds. As Manu went in. And the Fresnos are playing. And they are playing some aggressive basketball right now. Especially defensively. 69-58. Hatfield just dribbled the ball an inch or two too high, and Manu stuck an arm in there. And the Penguins were fortunate in that it ended up going out of play off the sideline. sedano has got it. She gets it to free off, who fires a long deuce, but not close, coming up on two minutes. 69-58. Manu into the corner. Sedano with a brilliant steal and throws it. And the Penguins are able to kick it back inbounds, but Barry gets it. The shot by Hurt from the top of the key. That falls. 69-60. Timeout Fresno. And all of a sudden, Tim Beauregard and the points. And that would generally be manageable. But even with a great coach like Tim Lacoste, collegiate hoops are what they are. And they are exciting for that very reason. Inbounds! And Dorva is able to fight off Fight the ball off along with Julie Ramirez. And everybody ends up on the floor. And it's gonna be it's gonna be Fresno Pacific ball on the sideline. The Penguins are barely able to get it in. And then Durva and Ramirez throwing their bodies at the ball were able to knock it loose out of the hands of San Juan. Dorva's got it right side, 93 seconds to go. She's way out on the wing, San Juan's on her. She drifts into the key, falling backward, scores the two. 123 to go. Well, the clock rolled whew, through the out of bounds. Oh, yeah, inside of two minutes at the end. Clock continues to roll. Sedano, right side, 110. Solis has got it. Sedano. Is just trying to body up Durva and drifts back between the circles. Left side, San Juan with the runner, window good. That's huge. 55 seconds to go. Timeout, Fresno, 71 62. The deuce thrown up by San Juan is so important because nine is so much bigger than seven. Inbounds, Fresno's get it. And free off, well, you can't really call it a rebound. It was just an errant pass because it was an air ball by Co- Cochran. So when it landed, free off grabbed it, and Hatfield will bring it in. Once free off grabbed it, one of the Fresnos knocked it out of bounds. 
Hatfield needs to get it in. And she gets it in for an instant to San Juan, who then fell out of bounds. She never really had control of it, but Manu's defense forced her out of bounds. Manu, a part of every salient play coming down the stretch. 71-62, and now Fresno's ball. Still 47 seconds to go. Barry to Manu. No, it's Ramirez. Ramirez, left side, Dorva. Backs up, three ball, in and out. Free off, gets a hand on it. Manu swipes it away. 30 seconds to go. Dorva backs up, looks at her feet. In and out, three ball, no. Everybody falls down, including Freeoff, who's had four fouls against her for the past 10 minutes of play. Hadfield will make her way to the bench. And Maya Flores will come into the game for her first minutes. She throws it in and throws it away. And there's the runner from Dorva. 71, 64, 22 seconds to go. Inbounds to Freeoff. He's going to hold on to it. The clock rolls and Manu grabs the ball. And the foul is committed by Manu. And that will be her fourth or fifth foul. Wait a minute. That's her fifth foul. That's her fifth. Correction. That appears to be the fifth personal on the menu. They were about to keep that game going. Mia, but I think they overheard us discussing the fact that Manu picked up her fifth. Maya Flores, the five foot six junior out of Santa Rosa, brings it in to Cedeno. Back to Flores. Coach instructs the players to hold the ball. And now a foul is committed by Dorva against Elias San Juan. So San Juan will go to the line. 71-64. San Juan. That's one, one for three. Tonight. No, that's just, this is her first free throw for tonight. Ah, pardon me. Well, it's perfect. And San Juan, who's been so clutched first few games of the season, continues her perfect free throw percentage. Now, in, in two games. Time out, Fresno with 12. Very good point. I'm just thinking two three balls and a foul would be the worst case scenario. Is this running? Are we good here? 73-64, Dorva. There's one of the threes that I just mentioned. Eight seconds to go. Inbounds to Cedeno. Cedeno is trying to get it across the timeline. And a foul is committed by Lundqvist. So Lundqvist... Had to foul Cedeno, and with four seconds on the clock. So they got it in, and Dorva was able to bury the three immediately. Had she been fouled, well, there, there's exactly what I was talking about. First free throw by Cedeno is missed. Cedeno was 0 for 3 tonight from the line, and now she's 0 for 4. Inbounds to Barry and there's the buzzer, everybody. Well, 73-67, the final, Mia, and the 